And number one, our favorite steroid of all time, Super Draw. Oh my God, Super Draw drives you the f out. Okay, Togi, that's a weird start, buddy. Didn't know I was listening to a steroid promotion, but okay. Like, come on, bro, how f***ing many of these influencers that blatantly promote steroids are we gonna have before it's too much? All right, everyone, welcome back. Today, this gym TikToker seriously needs to stop. This right here, for those that don't know, is Togi, a YouTuber slash TikToker with hundreds of thousands of followers. Now, Togi recently made a video on his YouTube channel called Podcast with the Voices, and to be honest with you, a lot of this is pretty dangerous whether he likes it or not. The way this guy promotes himself on his Instagram is showing how good his physique is, and he claims that this YouTube video is a joke, but no matter how many disclaimers you put in the video, if you're sitting there flexing and posting all this stuff without showing any negative side effects of taking steroids, then you're indirectly promoting them. So anyway, I found the worst videos from Togi today, so let's see just how bad this gets. When you're eating a meal, we're talking about total macros. Five waffles, two grams of protein, 20 grams of fat, 60 grams of carbs. But then boom, you just slap a protein shake in there. 50 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, 60 grams of carbs. That's a pretty balanced, good meal to me. People also say your cholesterol is going to be bad. Boom. Fish oil. 30 of these bad boys a day. And he's going to fucking pass away. Already right off the bat. I mean, come on, bro. 30 fish oils a day? That sh can't be good, bro. Look, you science people can come at me in the comments saying that it's fine to take 30 fish oils a day and whatever. You know, that's fine. I might not know what I'm talking about. But when the daily recommended dose is three per day, 30 seems a little fucking crazy to me. Also, this video is going to be important later because we're actually going to go into a deep dive into this guy's blood work. So he's already pretty much promoting steroids, right? But we're going to actually see what it's doing to his body as well. Hey, 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 this is what it is. Check it out. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Okay, bro, this is really the problem with this guy and his influence. You cannot look at a video like that and re you can rewind it if you want, watch it again if you just glanced over it, but that is glorifying steroids, hands down 100%. I mean, bro, when you do an edit where there's crazy music, flashing lights, and you're injecting shit into yourself and taking substances which are banned by water, meaning you would literally fail a drug test if you took one, then you sit there showing off your physique and everything like that, that is promoting and glorifying steroids. Now, this does get a whole lot worse right you might think that that's just a one-off occasion nah bro there's so much more to this rabbit hole <laughs> Okay, now this is an older video on this guy's TikTok account, which he doesn't post this sort of stuff anymore. But this shit is so bad, bro. And let's really think about this for a second. If you think that this isn't bad, or you think that this is just, you know, it's mild, it's it's not it's not terrible. Let's think about who's the target audience for this, right? 13 to 17 year old teenagers that are in the gym trying to get bigger. When a 13 to 17 year old sees something like this and sees Togi is using, you know, mixing him with injecting stuff and using droplets of certain things while sitting there flexing as well. The first thing he's gonna think of is, oh wow, I need to take this stuff so I can look like him. And not to mention that this guy's also setting such unrealistic expectations with this crazy lighting and whatnot. I mean, everyone is in this guy's comments right now saying like, oh yeah, bro, this guy's the realest gym YouTuber right now. Everyone loves this guy. His TikTok and Instagram edits are the most fake thing I've ever seen in my life. He's only showing him with a huge pump and crazy lighting. And again, I know that this was a few months ago, right? But the damage has already still been done. But you know what, bro? Even after after saying all of that right, even after everything I've said so far, some of you are still probably going to sit here and think that it's not that bad. That this guy pretty much glorifying steroids isn't really that bad. Well, let's put the nail in the coffin right now. This right here is Togi on a podcast talking about these edits that he made. Yeah, I stopped making those TikToks because it didn't feel quite right. That's not what I wanted to do. Like, I'm here to entertain and now I get a lot of um, hundreds of DMs of people saying, like, thank you so much for the content, this and that. I love you so much, whatever. When I was doing the gear edits, 
there was only DMs I would get are where do I buy steroids? Where do I buy steroids? Where do I buy steroids? So that I can admit it was just fully the glorification of steroids because there was no like oh the also take you got to take azetamibe. I realized that it was really not me to be putting out that kind of content. And there we go. He's admitted it himself. So for anyone trying to defend those TikTok edits or any edits for that matter that showed like people taking gear and then posing, Togi himself has said that it's fully glorifying steroids and that it's not a good thing. You're defending <laughs> someone who doesn't want to be defended, bro. I mean, you heard him, right? Kids are literally DMing this guy saying, "Where do I buy steroids? Where can I buy gear? Where can I do this?" And by kids, you can only assume he's talking about people under the age of 18. So again, for people saying that it's not that bad, just think about the people that are under 18 trying to buy steroids because of content like this. But now there's the argument that this content that was posted a few months ago, so you might be thinking, oh, surely Togi isn't that bad, right? Surely he's improved a little bit. Well, recently, Togi's been posting some content to his YouTube channel. And I mean, bro, these videos aren't so great either. Let's take a look at this. And number one! Our favorite steroid of all time, Superdrol. Oh my God, Superdrol drives you the fuck out. Amazing pre-workout. Superdrol gives you that freaking nature look. Very veiny, very dry, very strong in a short period of time. I'm talking two weeks off Superdrol. Bench, gonna double, diced. It's like trend, except for without the mental side effects where you wanna fucking blow your brains out. And you know, it just takes it on your, out on your liver. So that's why you don't run it for more than, you know, like six weeks or so. It's not too big of a deal. Not too big of a deal. I mean, apart from the fact that it's literally a steroid, is banned by water, and has side effects relating to bad blood pressure and cholesterol, plus a whole ton of other shit, then sure, it's not too big of a deal, Togi. I mean, bro, if you're gonna talk about steroids and how they work, which they do, I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna sit there and ignore that. That doesn't mean you don't talk about how it literally has a paragraph worth of other side effects. So now that we've dealt with the steroids part of this guy, which is pretty much just him just just glorifying them. Let's talk about another topic, which is the gambling. We all know the gambling is bad, right? You don't need me to tell you that. But there's people that are addicted to gambling, right? There's people that have slight issues with gambling. Maybe they spend a little bit too much money than they should. And then there's Togi. Now there are people in this guy's comments right now saying that they wish they had Togi as an older brother and that Togi's a great role model, blah, blah, blah. Now before I show this clip here, this guy started with $15,000 before this clip started. And then this happened. Yeah, this last spin is gonna be small. I'm not really trying to, like, rinse hard right now. I mean, come on, bro, really? Now, I get it that people are gonna say, oh, but Monk, it's just a joke. He's not trying to promote gambling or anything. That's not the point here, bro. The point is that this guy clearly has mental problems, and he's clearly addicted to gambling. No one in their right mind just does this shit for content. He's lost $15,000 in the last 15 minutes. I don't think that this guy's making enough money to support something like that. How is it that we're gonna make a brain work better? It's gonna be some nootropics. We're gonna smack some modafinil. And it's kinda hard to tell which one of these needles are clean and which aren't. But either way, then we're gonna be smacking Semax. This also a new tropic. Do I know exactly how either of these work? No. Now you can add this little disclaimer on the bottom saying this is a skit and you know all items are just props, but it's just a lie bro. This is not a skit. This is this guy actually taking steroids on camera on YouTube. And the items obviously aren't props bro. Let's get this straight. He's in his apartment room with needles all over the ground. He's taking this stuff on camera. And you know, I kind of just stopped using sterilizing wipes altogether because I didn't use it once. So I figured, fuck it, I'm just not gonna use this anymore. And I've just not been using them for fucking ages now. Just take the needle, pop her in, sh quick stab and a poke, get out, you're done. It feels like you're more likely to injure yourself or get an infection if you're sterilizing it. It just seems like a whole thing. If you don't make it a whole thing and you just like, <laughs> Then you're good. Um, yeah, nah, Togi. I don't know about that one, buddy. So apparently if you make it a whole thing and start using sterilizing wipes, then it's more likely to get infected than just taking it safely? No, nah, bro, I mean, you could pass something off like that as a joke, but I mean, he's just not joking. I get it that this is supposed to be entertainment, but people are gonna hear something like this and start not using sterilizing wipes because it's like, oh, well, if Togi's not using it, then I don't need to use it. But anyway, now we get onto Togi's blood work. So we've seen Togi make TikTok edits, gamble away his life, 
life savings, and now he's telling us to not use sterilizing wipes because it, it's apparently <laughs> making it easy for you to get infected. Now let's see what's actually going on this guy's body from all the crap that he's doing. No, first thing to note, RBC is amazing. I'm very excited that I managed to drop this down. My RBC last cycle, our last blood work panel was 7.8. That means I was bursting at the seams with blood. I was borderline about to have a fucking heart attack. Um, yeah, I don't know what this guy's celebrating. RBC stands for red blood cell count. And as you can see from this blood work, Bruh. it's still high. This guy said he was at 7 point something or whatever. And now he said that he's at 6.12, so it's improved. Togi, that's still bad. 6.12, as you can see, is still high. I don't know why we're celebrating that. Also, I mean, we're just going through all of these things on screen right now. There's so much high, low severe, everything in between. Like, there's everything on here. Now, you guys can pause this video right now and go into more detail if you want to have an actual look at this. But I just want you to know right now, this is seriously bad. This is the blood work of a 70-year-old cancer patient at stage 4. Okay, well, maybe not that bad, right? But you get the point. A guy in his early 20s should not be having blood work like this. So, look, you can sit there and call everything I've just talked about today a joke and, you know, oh, you know, he's just being authentic, guys. He's just making content for the people. But, bro, this guy's gonna f die. This is not good. His body health is terrible. It might be a joke for you guys watching the video, right? But this guy's health is in jeopardy. Anyways, I'm done with Togi. Click the video on screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it and I'll see you all over there. Subscribe.